About a year ago, I was having a conversation with an acquaintance of an acquaintance. This was a very attractive young girl. And it came up, I asked her why in all of her pictures she was never smiling with her mouth open. And she said, because this is all text conversation through Facebook. She said, because I have a gap in my teeth and I don't like it. It's ugly, etc." And so I told her all about how, well, if you don't, you know, there's nothing wrong with the gap. If you don't accept yourself because of a gap, there will always be something. And just left it alone. But a year later, I happened back into this person for one reason or another. And without giving her any context, I just sent a note saying, hey, do you still hate the gap in your teeth? And, and she responds back saying, uh, yeah. And I, and, I, and I went into it fully this time explaining, well, that's unfortunate. I tell her she's attractive regardless. And, and um, she responds back. Actually, let me read a bit of the direct. She said, um, the, the gap in my teeth is part of me probably never going to get, um, never getting it fixed. And thanks, I don't like the way I look, um, so I don't realize I'm beautiful. Because I told her, you know, if you don't realize it, you know, you know. And this is what I responded back to her. Uh, I'll just, I won't read it, but I responded back to her that I am 33 years old now. I've been a lot of places, known a lot of people, and done a lot of things. One of the things I did about 10 years ago now was adult films. Adult films. And so to people like her, just anyone who doesn't like the way they look, I'll say, I've been paid some pretty decent money to have sex with women that are more attractive than you will ever be, at least by social standards. They, they're perceived as attractive. Now, of course, to plenty of people, porn stars are notorious for not being as good looking in person. So you're like, well, you know, they weren't that good. Plenty of them weren't. But a lot of these young, fresh-faced teens that want to get in, want to get a whole lot of money just to explore their sexuality. I have had sex with some very attractive girls and been paid some pretty decent money to do it. My point is not to brag, because to a lot of people, that's a status symbol. The point is, none of these girls were satisfied with the way they look. And my point about that is, you will never fix your gap, not to this girl, but no girl will fix her gap or get her hair longer or become taller or become shorter or have bigger breasts or smaller breasts. You, there is no finish line for this race. If you don't accept yourself as you are, as you actually look and whatnot, or how, how you care to carry yourself, how you care to present yourself, if you don't accept it, you will never, there, there's never a point in life where it's just going to change. You grow up on movies and whatnot that show the whole world being fixed in an hour and a half or two hours, and eventually the world will get fixed. It never does. You will die completely not accepting what you look like. Even worse, many of you, men and women, will have children, and you will raise them, and you will uh, infect them with your self-loathing, and you will teach them to be self-loathing, and nothing will be worse than that. You think you have it bad now when you don't like the way you look? Imagine when you see your kid looking fine to you, you're like, this is my kid, and they hate what they look like. And you won't have the tools to tell them anything, because you're just still busy saying, my kid's not ugly, I mean, I am, but, but she's not, or he's not, and you won't be able to tell them anything, because you've built your whole life around this fantasy that there's this real level to get to. Celebrities teach you that, like, this is, well, you're attractive, or you should be self-respecting once you're this level, otherwise people don't want to know you. Again, celebrity culture of worship, the other side of people who worship celebrity is the loathing, the despising of normal people. You need to stop with the celebrity, respecting celebrities whatsoever. You need to stop with thinking that there's some finish line. There's absolutely no finish line. And you're going to live your whole life, and then you're going to die, never having accepted yourself.